everybody. I hope you're ready for this. Today we'll be taking a look at the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas versus the Chevy Tahoe. Stay tuned over the next few minutes as we do this review today. Atlas pulled up, we got the Tahoe pulled up. I'm gonna be moving fast, so make sure you hang with me on this one, okay? So anyways, we got the Atlas right here, looking great, silver in color. We got the Tahoe 2017, also good looking car. Let's turn the camera around and let's take a look at these two vehicles right now. All right, so both vehicles, good looking, no doubt. Always remember, I'm not gonna give you so much my opinion on this video on which one I like better. I wanna know which one you like better after you see these two vehicles sitting side by side, okay? So that's the whole deal. And then we're gonna come back a different day, maybe tomorrow, and take a look at the Traverse versus the Atlas, okay? So this is a 17 Tahoe. We do have a 2018s that just arrived, but they still gotta get pulled through the shop. And there's not really a whole lot of difference from 17 to 18, so no major body style changes. But we will do a review on the Tahoe 2018 at some point. Now, always remember, this is a two-wheel drive LS. That is a two-wheel drive SE. Rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, okay? This one does have technology package and all that good stuff, but again, V6, V8, 5.3 liter, right? Okay, gets 23 on the highway, 16 city, average combined of 19 mile per gallon, good safety ratings. What does the Atlas get? It gets 25 on the highway, 18 city, average combined of 20 mile per gallon. So just really one mile per gallon difference from 19 to 20 on the average combined. Wheels, both got alloys. You're gonna see the Tahoe sits up a little bit higher than the Atlas, but let me tell you something, folks. I pulled into the school this morning, and there's always that group of moms out there that are parked in the school parking lot, chit-chatting it up, gossiping it up in the mornings, right? And they're out there in their Suburbans and their Expeditions and their big SUVs all parked there together. What did Chad do this morning? I pulled right in the line with those ladies with that beautiful Atlas and I sat it right there for a minute. And then when I walked back, they were gone, and I was like, man, I wanted to get a picture of that. So I'm gonna try to do that again tomorrow. But anyways, I wanna show those ladies, hey, that Atlas is looking good, okay? Because you know, most of American people right now are driving these Tahoes and these big SUVs, and there's nothing wrong with supporting American companies, but hey, Volkswagen's being sold in America too. So anyways, I'm trying to move quick as I can, and uh, really just kinda wanting to brush through and kinda look at these two vehicles. So anyways, I'll tell you the best I can as we're going along here. As we know, the Atlas has full LED lighting, except for your fog lights down there. Those are uh, just regular halogen fog light bulbs. The, uh, the Tahoe on the difference, I do not think the 2017 is a full LED headlight display. And you do have some LED lighting right there and stuff like that, but I don't think that bulb there is LED. But I know these are, I mean, you can just tell. And again, I've done so many videos on the Atlas. I know we got LEDs rocking and rolling here. But again, the main thing is looking at these two cars. Which one do you think looks best, right? Which one do you think you could drive? Again, both vehicles come in a lot better packages, right? I mean, you can get this SCL Premium, you can get that LTZ, you can get a premium package on your Tahoe as well. Both vehicles have plenty of upgrades and higher trim levels you can get on either one, okay? I'm so happy though that Volkswagen has actually brought a full-size SUV to the marketplace, third row seats, you know, nice height off the ground, nice and wide and all that. It's the biggest one they've ever made. The Tahoe is a big vehicle, but I'm gonna show you a few things real quick. Now, again, this one already comes with the tow package on the back. The Atlas does not. It's something you gotta add on, you know, in the shop at the VW dealership. Now, you're gonna notice on the LS Tahoe, you're not gonna get a power tailgate back here, okay? You will on the, uh, on the Atlas over there. Um, you will have more room back here in the Atlas as in getting things in with the third rows up, okay? So just remember that. You know, the Tahoe for many years has always been, you know, where you can pull the third rows out if you don't need them. It's nice that they just fold down nice and flat right there. You do have a little bit of storage space right under there as you can see, okay? But again, I do believe you'll have more room in the Atlas when that third row is up in the back. That's just my opinion. And I do like a third or a uh, power tailgate. I wish the Tahoe had that. Does have backup camera, all that good stuff. Both have windshield wipers that clean off the back window. The one on this one is hidden up there by the third row or by the uh, third brake light. The Atlas has it just kind of out in plain sight. 
Um, you have your gas cap and opener right here on the driver's side. Atlas is on passenger side. Ford Explorer is on passenger side. Running boards on the bottom pretty much are going to come standard on the Tahoe. Um, you don't get them on the Atlas, okay? So you're going to have to add that on if you want it. Uh, both vehicles look good. They do. I like silver on both of them. Very nice color combinations here going on. Let's take a look at this one on the interior real quickly. Also, no light on your mirror there to blink. None of that going on. You got it on the Atlas, it's LED. When you open up here, you're going to notice right off the get-go, um, we do not have, oh, answer on my feet. Answer on my feet. All right, get them off. You're going to have to deal with it. Um, you do not have leatherette on the LS Tahoe. Just cloth interior seats. The Atlas has leatherette, which feels nice, and it looks good, okay? Nothing wrong with cloth, okay? But, you know, some people like leatherette or leather. Leather wrapped steering wheel, the other one has leather wrapped steering wheel. Both of them have nice uh, displays on the inside. There's that one on the Tahoe touch screen. You got an LCD right through the middle right there. You'll notice in the Tahoe, everything kind of comes up higher and really separates you from that side to this side. Up top, you got sunglass holders, all that good stuff. OnStar comes standard. Um, you got your handles on every windowsill all around in the Tahoe. Leather wrapped up onto here, all power windows, you got power seat, all that good stuff going on. Really what we're going to get to in a minute is price. Um, the back back here, pretty roomy. Again, both of these vehicles are pretty similar in width, okay? They're both really wide vehicles and, uh, and all that. Um, I do like how you got the, uh, that, that kind of like a house outlet there, I guess it's like 150 watts, something like that, 400 watt max power outlet. Where's your cup holders in the back? They're right here just like on the Atlas in the center armrest and then you can fold these down I think it's gonna be a little more difficult getting to the third row from right here on this car you may want to go with a captain row seating on the Tahoe if you want easier uh, accessibility to get into the third row uh, no no blind spot monitoring system they're just gonna give you a little mirror right there and let me tell you folks the price is gonna be a lot more higher on the Tahoe just to go ahead and get that out the way let me show you real quick even with Ravenel Ford's discount I mean, suggested retail on a LS two-wheel drive with a 5.3 liter V8 uh, is 48,510. 48,510. They're going to give you 98 over invoice, 46,719. And if there was a rebate, you'd have it. You would think there's a rebate right now on a 17 model. Maybe there is. Maybe they just haven't written it on there yet. But 48,510. We're at 38,3 on a SE with technology V6 Atlas. Can't get it with a V8. Okay. So if you want the V8, you're going to have to roll to the American brands for European cars. Okay. I don't even think your Audi Q7 is going to come with a big V8 under there. But anyways, price is much higher, and I do think you're going to get more options on your Atlas when it comes to uh, you know to pricing and specking things out. But again, some people just love Chevy Tahoes and some people are loyal to Volkswagen and you can't change it. But that's the two vehicles right there. We're gonna do more stuff very soon with all these vehicles and uh, we're gonna do test drives and all kinds of good stuff. The weather is finally getting nice outside and uh, it's October, it's gonna start getting dark soon and when the time changes here towards the end of the month and it gets dark earlier around six o'clock or so, we'll be out at all these dealerships doing night reviews and comparisons at night. So stay tuned, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought. Which one do you like better if you could buy either one? We'll see you soon. All right, everybody. Like I said, I got to get rolling. It's a busy day. You know, my reviews sometimes are kind of like vlogs. I'm really just kind of filming while I'm at the car store doing my thing. So I got to park this big old Tahoe back. I like the camera on it. Very nice, just like the Atlas. Um... I will tell you, I like the Atlas's uh, guidelines better. Uh, they're bigger, they're wider, they're brighter. So I thought that was kind of nice. But yeah, I got to get this Tahoe back in this parking spot just right so I can pull that Atlas out of there. Um, definitely, it definitely feels a lot heavier than the Volkswagen Atlas. And again, some people like, like that feel about it.